Welcome to Elizabeth's Craft Room. Um, we're going to do uh, another project today with the um, Wishing You Well. Um, we did a wreath the other day, but I'm going to use this bouquet. Um, and when I saw this, it actually reminded me of something when I stamped it. Um, and I thought I'd give it a little go. And let me share that with you today. Because I think this makes a really good stamp for... Um, harvest or Thanksgiving um, or just a kind of a general interesting stamp rather than something a bit different rather than um, using it for flowers or a bouquet. So I'm going to start off inking this up with the So Saffron ink pad and then we're going to do a technique called dumping. Have you done this before? So I've taken the palest colour which is the So Saffron and then I'm using Mango Melody, I'm using Crushed Curry, I'm using um, the Pineapple Punch and I'm going to use a little bit of the um, Crumb Cake and just tapping all over, um, thumping all over and you do it with the brush end and you're quite gentle with it and then you start to get a mixed um, version of the colour. Let's do this again. So you're just using that brush end and tapping all over. And it means that you don't get a uniform colour. It means you get a bit of a, a mixed colour as we do that. This is particularly good for trees um, or anything, you know, anything where you would expect to get a mixed colour. Um, and as we build this up, hopefully you can see that this is making sort of corn or wheat or something that we're harvesting. <laughs> okay, let's keep on tapping. like that. I must admit I, I just kind of could see it, um, could see that as a kind of a harvest look. So let's do um, a greeting for this. I thought I'd use actually painted harvest and I'm thankful for you. And I'm going to stamp that in the um, soft suede. Just pop that straight onto the project. But we need a little bit of something else there. So I think we'll use the bow um, from the Wishing You Well, which is this one here. I'm going to stamp that in Granny Apple Green. And then Take the paper snips and snip that out and then pop that up on dimensionals. I'm putting a little bit of green in there just gives it a pop of colour and I'm also going to put this on a green granny apple green background. Mini dimensionals. And I think I'd, I'd like to add a little bit of something else. So I'm going to put a bit of a wink of Stella um, onto the bow. See that gives a little bit of glimmer and then just dab it around there as well. We've just got a little bit of 
a little bit of shine. Lay that up on here. Now it's a super simple um, thank you card um, and really quick to do and that means you can Do it for any occasion. Do it in a do it in a hurry when you just want to say thank you. But I think for this time of year, it actually makes a really rather nice card. Now, if you've got a little bit more time, you could do a bit of a stepped up version. So here I've included um, a little layer of the shaded spruce, and the greeting I've put on here, I've used this which is one of the stitched shapes framelits. Um, they are so pretty for layering up greetings. You can make texture, you can make little lines, little like stitched edges, um, just fantastic. And if I show you close up on that piece, can I don't know if you can see, but that's actually got stitching on it. Um, I've added a little bit of gold twine there as well. So you can have a little play with that and, and, and give it a different look. Um, this one I didn't add any extra colours to it, I just did it in a, in a flat colour and this one we've obviously got a little bit of more interest in the colour combinations. So there you go, thanks for visiting Elizabeth's Craft Room today and I look forward to welcoming you back again soon. La, la, la.